Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two for Corel Draw for the Beginner. In the first video, we talked about the toolbars, the menu bar, the standard bar, property toolbox, and status bar. And I'm mainly gonna, now this video is gonna be about how to set up your workspace, and I'm mainly talking to laser engravers. Because so laser engravers are a little bit different. So the first thing you wanna do is change the bed size, your page size to the size of your laser. And mine is 40 by 28. I can very easily change that to 24 by whatever. So I want my bed size the size of my laser. With nothing selected, I want to change my nudge distance to 0 0.001. And that's because of the fact in laser engraving, it's so precise and detailed. If we want to make a duplicate of that deal and nudge it up, just a hair, I'm just holding down the key, and look how little it's moving, we'll make this one yellow. I've moved it up just that little, a little bit at a time. So that's your nudge distance. It's real important. One, one aspect is this thing is about two inches tall. We could change, see everything selected, something selected so I don't have a nudge distance. Unselected and you get your nudge distance. We'll make our nudge distance two inches. Now I can nudge that text two inches up. And the good thing about it, I can nudge it right back. And if I've changed something. The next one is your duplicate distance. Let's get rid of one of these. Your duplicate distance set at default is 0.25 by 0.25. There's no reason for that that I could ever find. So this is default. If I want a copy of that, I'm going to control D and look what it did. It put it a quarter of an inch up and a quarter inch over. I don't want that. I want my nudge factor or my duplicate distance set on zero. And all I'm doing is typing in the value. So now I'm going to make a duplicate control D. And what's so nice about this, I can move it up. I can change it make anything I want to out of it. I can take away the fill, add an outline, and I can nudge it right back to where it was without any problem. So that's your nudge distance. The next thing I would change would be, and this is my personal preference, is to change your <clears throat> pen's thickness and your color. I like drawing everything in a hairline, red hairline, because it's a cut line. I can always change it later. To change that, just get on this outline box, double click on it, change it to whatever thickness you want, hairline and whatever color you want. Now also, if you'll notice, my color is in RGB. As a laser engraver, you want RGB. The other thing I would suggest doing is your rulers, and mine are already set up. In later versions of Corel, you've got a snap to. I'm gonna have snap to page. If you do not have that in earlier versions, you can go to view and snap to and snap to page. And what that does, you can bring this corner down. Default is gonna be from the bottom up. We want from zero down. So if you will take this corner right here, and drag it, it will snap to that corner, and now my indexing lines will be at zero, zero at the corner of my page. Now, if you do not know how to change your default of your color palette, and you can see right here, we've got black, RGB, stands for red, green, blue. The color palette is under here, and yours might say, Default, and it might be CMYK. We're going to open up CMYK. I'm having a new, a little problem with the, my new cursor that I put yellow on. So now I've got our CMYK. The reason laser engravers do not want CMYK, if we make a box and it fill it with white, CMYK white will print in most lasers. 
You do not want it to print. So you do not want CMYK, you want RGB. And also, RGB black is a little bit darker. Let's make this one RGB black. Let's make this one CMYK black. I don't know if you can see that on your screen, but my RGB is just a little bit more blacker. It's gonna give you a better engraving. CMYK is for sublimation, printers, and I can get rid of that by just clicking on that and go to palettes, clicking right here, go to palettes, and close that palette. So now I just have RGB, and you can tell whenever you click on anything, this is RGB. <clears throat> now I do not have RGB in a palette, or CMYK in a palette anymore, but when I click on this, it shows me that it's RGB. I do not have CMYK, but this is CMYK black, because it was brought in and it's still CMYK. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and stay tuned for more Corel Draw for the beginner. Thank you for watching.